Watch you guys got another video here for you. I'm going to give you three reasons to upgrade your BIOS. I get asked all the time, what is the reason for flashing your BIOS? And I'm going to be talking about it in this video. So first off, let's talk about how you can go about flashing your BIOS. First, you'll need to get a flash drive and make this FAT32. That's important because the BIOS only recognizes the FAT32 format. So quickly format your USB flash drive to FAT32. Let's just quickly check here by right clicking, go in properties here, and we can see whether the drive is now FAT32. It's in FAT32, there we go, file system. Now, once we've got this done, we can head over to the motherboard manufacturer and uh, basically download our BIOS. Now, yours will be different. It doesn't really matter whether you're running Gigabyte, whether it'll be MSI, Asus, ASRock, any of these, you'd have to go there and find the make and mod model of your motherboard. And then you'll go to the support page on here, which is where your BIOS is going to be. So click on here. Then you're going to need to choose the operating system that you're using. In my case, it's a uh, Windows 10 64 bit. Once you've got your operating system selected here, you're going to come down the list here and look for BIOS. And this will give you the list of all of the BIOS versions they have available for that board. So make sure you get the right BIOS for your motherboard, otherwise it's not going to work and you can cause problems. So you can see here, this is the very latest BIOS, the F20D. That's the latest one here. So when we look over here, this brings us to one of the first reasons why you're going to want to flash your BIOS, and that is hardware updates or adding hardware to your motherboard. You can see here BIOS update to be compatible with 11th gen Intel Core uh, processors. So this is going to be making the motherboard accept uh, the latest 11th gen processors from Intel. Now this board was designed for 10th gen processors, but with this BIOS flash on some boards, it's going to allow us to be able to use that 11th gen processor. So you can see here, I've got all the contents of the latest BIOS downloaded, and I'm going to copy these over to a USB flash drive, which we formatted into FAT32. So copy these over. And then what we're going to do is boot up and get into our BIOS. Now you can get into the BIOS by tapping on the F2 key or into the Dell key or delete key, and it will normally enter you into the BIOS like here. Inside here, you can get the information about the BIOS, which version you're running. So up the top left hand side here, you can see BIOS version F7C, and that means it's an older version, and we do have a newer version, which we can now update. So if I was looking to roll out a new CPU for this uh, motherboard, then I would need to flash the BIOS to make it accept that latest version of CPU. So upgrading CPUs and also RAM uh, is always a good thing to do. Uh, with BIOS flashes. So go on to the Q flash here, and this will then ask us uh, what we want to do here, whether we want to update our BIOS. So we're going to click on update BIOS, so we can then go ahead and proceed with the update process. You should now see the BIOS version here, which is the latest BIOS version on our USB flash drive. We're going to click on this and highlight it, and then we can click on the arrow here. Now yours might be slightly different, but it is the same process. And then it's going to ask us whether we want to update our BIOS. I'm going to say yes here. And basically it's going to verify that file and it should then give us the current uh, BIOS, which we have and the updated version here listed on the left hand side. So we can see there is two different versions here. It's accepted uh, and verified that it is the correct BIOS for this motherboard. And we can now click on start to update the BIOS. Now, while it's going through the update process, you don't want to be touching the computer and you don't want to uh, be turning off the computer or losing any sort of power because it's going to wipe uh, the BIOS and put the new version on. So the hardware update is going to be the first reason why you want to do it, which may be a case where your RAM is not being detected properly or your CPU or you have a piece of hardware which you're trying to use that is not being recognized because um, it needs to be updated to the latest version. This is normally pretty common for new motherboards. When you buy them, they get a very old version of them when they're released, and they release a bunch of new versions very quickly. And you want to update those at the beginning 
to get those up to date so everything works fine. Now, if your PC is working perfectly fine and you're having no issues at all, then you may want to uh, leave the PC well alone and just continue to use it because you won't see any performance gains by flashing a BIOS. That is a misconception by a lot of people where they say that you'll get performance gains from flashing a BIOS. The second one will be security updates. That is the second reason why you might want to update your BIOS. The latest BIOS comes with some security updates, which could be uh, like Spectra or Meltdown, some of those things. And some people want to get those onto the BIOS to protect them from uh, viruses and boot sector viruses and things like that. So that is hardware updates and security updates. They're the two main reasons. The third reason would be increased stability. So to iron out any sort of bugs or any other issues that you may be having with that motherboard. And these could be common issues that you may be having. Okay, so maybe you've changed the CPU and now it's not working or you've got some sort of instability like crashing or other issues like low frames per second in games. This has been another common one where they will release a BIOS update to fix any sort of known issues. When AMD released a lot of their Ryzen CPUs, there was early teething problems with these, and they released a bunch of uh, update fixes for these. You'll probably see that there's a USB issue going on with some AMD boards, and they have released or will be releasing uh, BIOS updates to fix and resolve a lot of those problems. Now, my rule of thumb is pretty simple. If I'm not experiencing any sort of problems with the computer, like bugs or any sort of hardware issues or any sort of uh, crashing or instability or anything like that, then I won't bother updating the BIOS. And that's just me. Uh, if you're not going to get anything out of it, and it's possible that you could end up causing yourself more problems by flashing a BIOS as if you would by just leaving it well alone when it's working. As that old saying says, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But I'll leave that decision up to you whether you want to flash your BIOS or not. You can see basically how to do it. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, there is a, a minor risk of bricking your hardware. Um, but other than that, uh, it's pretty straightforward and easy to do, as you can see here. Just follow those steps and your BIOS will then be flashed to the latest version. But just remember with everything that not every update is always going to be a good update and not every firmware update is going to be a good update. And you can end up with, uh, you know, much more problems than you did have before. And you can roll back the BIOS. That's another thing that I wanted to point out is you can roll back the BIOS to an earlier version. And if that's what you need to do, then you can do that. But you can see the BIOS has now been flashed and it's been updated to the latest version. And that is pretty much it. So that is basically three reasons why you'd want to update your BIOS. Now, the reason why I updated this BIOS for this uh, motherboard, the Z490 uh, Vision D. And the reason why I did it is because I want to try the 11th gen Intel processors. And I needed to update the BIOS for that to work correctly. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. I just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Hope this helps you out. Bye for now.